If we don't test the arch power now, we may never have another chance. Whoa. Wasn't ready for that. Okay. Zulu 6, prep the arch for delivery. Guys, seriously. I'm pretty sure I'm not, not supposed to be down there. Or if I do like this. I'll take my chance. Anderson's log 342. The fold weapons power source is called the Mark. Doesn't look like they've perfected the casing. This one's empty. The Ark must be somewhere else. Anderson out. Ark prepped for delivery and en route to the test chamber. They're trying to sneak up on me. One of those robots. Okay, I need that. But since I have the time on my side, I can do whatever I want. I don't think so. Hmm. Jump up, Cooper. Dr. Jefferson Boyle, log one. Looks like they went forward with the arc test, despite my warnings to postpone, but what Martyr wants, Martyr gets. I don't know how I survived, but I did. For now. I've tried all the exits, but I'm trapped. Damn place is locked down good. All I have is hope. That's what I get for picking a lab underground. What can I say? I like archaeology. Spin up the outer ring. Test sequence will commence once the arc is in place. I do like the way that you can change time like this because you get a different per perspective from different places this oh yeah 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 I should have understood that that was going to happen There's something big in the background. Now it's destroyed though.
course. Whoa, that was really close. But if you don't get a threat from one side of the time, you get it from another. I guess. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I can go down or take that zip line. Well, let's see where this one takes us. I was nearly close to die there. Is that one on my side? Oh no, this is annoying. I know I missed. A helmet. Pilot, the rings at my location contain a large amount of residual energy. This was the Ark's final destination. Anderson's plan indicated a recon mission within close proximity to the center of the active rings. You sure I'll be safe over there? No, but a true militia pilot takes risks for the welfare of others. As did Major Anderson and Captain Lestimosa before you. No, no, no. Return to BT. Well, let's see how we're going to do this time. Nothing here. Uh, okay, until just death. Whoa! Okay. I guess I have to be inside this one a little bit. Ow! I got shattered. I have to be quick. That was scary. They were targeting this planet's moon as a test. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Oh, fight that, pilot. Oh. That Whoa. was Major Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. Absolutely. I would like to spend some time today to talk about the value of human life. There is no value to human life. Okay, let's die. That I have your attention. To be more precise, human life to a certain limit is expendable. We are self-perpetuating yet self-destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource intensive. We are endless consumers of resources. But most relevant to our research here is one undeniable fact, that human life is abundant. Overpopulation of any colonized world is a given. 
Through the lens of cold objectivity, it is irresponsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Of course you're not dead. But they are kinda easy to run away from. I recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the Ark's energy signature. Well, BT, that have to be for the next time because now it's time to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.